<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. people it's mm. exciting times exciting times yeah um that's a dead giveaway what this one is <laughs> so um this is the four percent one uh the pale owl yeah now i've tried this in can and it's been good in the can so i'm looking forward to trying this but, and on draft yeah, that's right, actually. It was a, a while draft ago. in London, um, granted. A nice draft pint in London. I must say, um, I'd like to put a special thanks to the Perfect Draft team, especially Dan, who sent me this keg and the Magic Orange, didn't he? Indeed, yeah. The Magic Orange more of a Michelle show because I'm not really a star. I'm actually really, really looking forward to trying that. But yeah, special thanks, I say, especially Dan. We've been in contact and obviously knows with what Michelle went through. With everything, anyone who's a to kind of cheer you up a bit, didn't they? Yeah, and this is definitely the worst of my heart. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, right, let's get on, let's get it pulled. I have had a little sample, just so I didn't do a classic. Didn't I? So, here we go. We'll go in it, we're in at five degrees on this. I can't remember the actual temperature, but five's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think five would be alright, five, six for this. Oh, oh, look in my glass. <laughs> Unbelievable. It only happens to us. It's only been cleaned like this morning. <laughs> there you are, look at that. Let's say that is a lovely, lovely ambery colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the, the glass glass you'd use for it. No. I don't know. I keep <laughs> I'm on one and I. So, as I say, comes in at four percent ABV. All of us know it, it's a pretty popular drink isn't it it's here there and everywhere the availability yeah. in cans as, we, as, as michelle said in bottles and on draft in pubs isn't it indeed especially in camden town so you want to go on the right let's have a sniff mm, yeah i am really looking forward to this one yeah, I've got the, the citrusy, the, the, the grapefruit. There is an element of malt in there, isn't there? And it's almost floral as well. Yeah, you, you are getting yeah. it's a little bit hoppy, isn't it? Not, not so much. Yeah, the aroma. And it's the exclusive two finger head. Yeah, and that is quite nice and a bunny on top of there, isn't it? But yeah, this is more the IPA glass, isn't it? Not the IPA, the. Hell's glass, yeah. But uh, we have the round ones here somewhere, but I gave up trying to find them and thought that's it. There's so do. many glasses now, I can't find the ones I want. <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> it took me 25 minutes to find that one. So there right. you go. You're going first on this, me? Yep, yeah, because I'll end up with that foam all over my nose anyway. <laughs> me, yeah. And it is a little bit hoppy for a pale ale on the end, but that, to be honest, with the affiliation with the South Londoners. Yeah, well, you have to forget about that. Put it to one side. That's what I do when I, I drink it. If I'm, if I'm honest to. here, I want to not like it, but you can't, can you? I love it. You have got that nice smoothness, a, a nice fine um, carbonation there that's moving the flavours in. The more backbone is lovely. There's a little hint of caramelly sweetness. Then you've got the burst yeah, there of citrus. Is, there is, yeah, there is a sweet, I see more, more grapefruity. Yeah, I'm, and I'm it is piney, up. definitely. But it's... <laughs> I'm picking up lemon. But there is right. There is grapefruit in this one as well, and I can definitely taste that. So you taste grapefruit in a lot of things, and I don't really pick it up. 
but that has definitely got that grapefruit flavor. Right. The one thing a lot of people, when we were talking on YouTube about it last week, the 4%, it's like you're not getting. This has got some wonderful complex flavors in there for a drink that is 4%. Usually I find them a bit wishy-washy and um, yeah, I, I tend to stick away from them. Yeah, some of the 4% ones can be hit and miss, obviously in our opinion, but that's carrying it. That's that has got some brilliant flavors. And you, well, even once you get past the sort of citrusy hints and everything else, then you've got that lovely finish, which is herbal, piney and hoppy. It is, yeah, you do get the hops yeah. on the end. And it's quite, it's for, for a pale ale, wow, it's quite hoppy, isn't it? It is. I think this is in a nice really, way. It's... really captures me about this because I do enjoy IPAs and it has got that slightly hoppier end into it. Yeah, um, like I say, I've, it's a well known fact. A few years ago, I used to drink this and then things happened, so I didn't drink it. Mm. Um, but that, this, you can't not like it. I mean, for argument's sake, Dan was so confident of it, wasn't he? Yeah. It was, um, you know, like with a stout. They were so excited and confident in the way that you knew it was going to be good. For me, this, this really is a very, very good example of a pale ale and a very sessionable one too. Yeah. To, mean, kind of, to kind of put it into perspective, if I go into a pub, I wouldn't usually pick a 4% drink, would I? No, not very often. <laughs> not very often. But the particular time I had this in the pub, I had it because I knew I really liked it, and even though it was, yeah, it was yeah, a bit lighter. Remember, you, that was at King's Cross or somewhere, or Waterloo, that was, but then you drank it also in Camden itself. Okay. Although going back a little while. It's got better now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as I say, it's, I mean, it's even got Laura's seal of approval, and a lot of people will know Laura, a quite a well-known person yeah. in all the beer groups, and she's actually on it at the moment, we've been exchanging a few messages about her thoughts and everything. I've been to talk to Laura, didn't like that though, it's, it, it's got that kind of vibe to it. Yeah, it's, it was always going to be popular, I know um, when you talk, Comrade was trying to get this out um, two, three years ago. But I don't know, for whatever reason, as I've said to people before, it didn't come out. Um, it's, it, it's, it's, it's raining at the moment, as you can probably hear, but on a summer's day, it's going to flow down for yeah. people, isn't it? You know, I'm obviously not going to get this again because I'm just not. Oh, I don't know, am I? Am I? <laughs> I won't. I might twist his arm into it. That's a really lovely session from LL. So, yeah, you can enjoy it. it really I can't, yeah. <laughs> you've, got, you've got to get over the fact that he's affiliated with. Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> I just, you know, that's that's not a lie. This is a beer review. I, I get that. I don't know, I'll get a lot of stick for this in a way, but that's how it is, isn't it? For me, this is a great parallel. It's a really good example of it. It's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. It's, it's, it's got a lot of flavour to it. Um, lots of different angles in there lots of complexity it really has it's very complex for a four percent yeah it's it has it's got a lot of the four percent ones going back to that mm. a lot of the time they haven't got a lot going on have they yeah, that I has wishy -washy. Yeah, it's flowing through you so for me this is one of the best examples of a sessionable parallel so <laughs> Why am I going to go on this? I am going to give it a weight <coughs> of beer of nine. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You're not going to want to rate this. <laughs> For me, as I said, it is clean, it is crisp, um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> be fair to it. <laughs> be fair. Yeah, be fair for it. I've got Gareth Hopman's to talk to, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> right. For me... It's a fair 7 out of 10, you know. It's higher than a 7, that's, you know it. That's it. Is it For this is, style of beer, this is, this is a great example. It really is very, very good. If you enjoy parallels, you're going to enjoy this. One. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not the thing. As I've said, it's clean, it's crisp. You know, we all know what Camden's like. Camden's one that everyone knows. It's been around a while, and everyone's either had it in the can, had it in the bottle, Yeah, I, I think draft. a lot of people have tried it. Yeah, so it's not a new one. Obviously, it's not a new one. Obviously, it's a new one for the perfect draft. And um, it was always going to be big, no matter what. No matter what anyone says in the YouTube review, 
they've got a big hitter there. I found the cans very good, obviously being on draft. I think it, it always improves it slightly anyway. So, yeah, I think it's a really, really great addition. Yeah, and as a session, mm. well, you can't go wrong, can you? Mm -hmm. so, right, I think that'll do on that one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.